become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Let's got out tomorrow night. We can go to a bar and try to find you a girlfriend. I don't think that's a good idea. I am just not good with approaching someone and starting up a conversation. Maybe you just need a few pickup lines, you know, break the ice. Pickup lines don't work. Come on. You can just walk up to a girl and say, if you were a booger I'd pick you first. What? Come on. That's just lame. No girl would fall for that. Fine. Then you can say, so there you are. I've been looking all over for you, the woman of my dreams. That's a good one. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah. So you make her laugh, you make a fool of yourself a little bit and then you buy her a drink. Okay. How does this sound? I was so enchanted by your beauty that I ran into that wall over there. So I am going to need your name and number for insurance purposes. Nice. Let's go. Now, you are to board the plane. We're sorry that we haven't done much to help you when you stayed in China. I appreciate what you have done for me. Everything I have seen here has left a deep impression on me. I really don't know how to express my thanks to you. We are ready to help you. Will you be kind to say, thank you, to Mr. Zhang and other friends for me? I'd like to. I'm sure your visit will help to promote the friendship and understanding between both of us. Welcome to China again. Of course, I will. Well, it's time for me to say goodbye. The plane will take off soon. Hope someday you will come to America for a visit. Thank you. I will if I have chance. Goodbye and happy landing. Goodbye. What does she do? She works as a teller in a bank. Does she go to night school? Yes. She goes three times a week. Why? What does she want to be? She wants to be a manager. What classes does she take? She takes classes in accounting and business. You are married to a foreigner, huh? So what's it like? Well, the first year of our marriage, we had great difficulty getting along. The things that are important to me are not important to him. We had a lot of conflicts. Yeah, I know what you mean. The first year of any marriage is difficult for all couples, not to mention two people from different cultures. And now we have a two-year-old boy. We're very happy that he's healthy and smart. Oh, so he's half Chinese and half American. That's unusual. What languages does he speak, then? Right now he speaks mostly Chinese, and he can say a few English words. But he will learn. What does he look like? Can people tell? Yes. People surely can. He's whiter than the Chinese kids, and his hair is a little blonde. My husband says his eyes are very Chinese though. This man is your fiancé, Dolly? Yeah, how do you like him? He's handsome. Can you give me a touch of his character? He's outgoing and honest, but sometimes he's a bit conservative. Hey Susan, what are you coming as this year? Coming as? Yeah, for Halloween. We have a big office party tomorrow evening. There's a prize for best costume. Um, I have to confess, I haven't given it much thought. 
I'm from China and Halloween really isn't celebrated there. Really? You don't have some kind of Chinese ghost festival? Oh sure. We have an entire month. In traditional Chinese culture, ghost month is a period when the door between this world and beyond opens up and ghosts come back to Earth for a visit. Cool. A whole month. What do you do during that month? Well, people sometimes set off firecrackers. Some people burn paper money as an offering and many people go to a temple to burn incense. Mainly though, you need to feed the ghosts because they're hungry. Feed them? Yeah, we set up tables with food, fruit and drinks and offer that to the hungry ghosts. And then later everyone eats the food? Yes. How did you guess that? It makes sense, right? Who else is going to eat it? Good point. But no dressing up like ghosts, right? No. So is Halloween essentially the same thing as Ghost Month? Many people say it's a good story. But I think it's boring. I don't think I share your view there. The writer is writing about history, society, human nature and so on. It's too hard to understand. What's your favorite book? It's Gone with the Wind. Why do you like it best? I enjoy the various characters and the plot. Well, I like the Tom Birds best. Is it very interesting? Sure. I like the writer's language, too. If I have a chance, I'll enjoy the book. Would you like to go to the bookshop with me? That's a good idea. Let's go. I can't believe the cost of apartments in New York City. Oh. You didn't know that apartments here are considered valuable, even if they are small and crowded? Of course I had heard about that, but now I know how expensive it is to rent a place here. I don't mind paying high rent to live in New York. Why? You pay so much for such a tiny space to live. Yeah, but so what? I'm proud to live in the world's most exciting city. And, the salaries here are the highest in the nation, too. What do you think of smoking? It's harmful not only for yourself but for others. What in your opinion can be done to stop smoking? Stop producing cigarettes. But that'll affect the national economy. That's right. But I don't think there are better ways. How about painting a warning on each cigarette packet? Maybe it can take effect. What do you do in your free time, Nancy? Well, I like playing the violin. Really? How long have you been playing the violin? About 10 years so far. I started learning when I was in middle school. That's really interesting. Sure. So what about you? Do you have any hobbies? Well, I like collecting Matchbox. I'm not sure if that counts, though. Of course it does. Everybody has his own hobby. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.